Alrighty, guys. I think this might be the last episode of Grotesque Beauty. I have a feeling right now my choice is going to possibly end my let's play for the part. Wait a minute, and welcome to Lamey Shush Anime, and welcome back to Grotesque Beauty. And now, it's quite obvious the choice that I'm going to do, but I am not going to trust her. <clears throat> because something seems wrong about this all. And if the woman in the paint is telling the truth, she even knew about the girl. But our best friend lied about it. That's why I'm going to not trust my best friend. So guys, Ikimashuka, don't trust her. I thought you were my friend all these years and you knew something of what happened to Hannah and yet you didn't tell me. That kind of information could have helped. It could have saved her. But you refused to tell anyone about it. It just doesn't make sense. As if you didn't want her to be found. Rachel, no, that's not true. Yes, it, yes it is. Rachel, you see through her lies, don't you? I do. My sister is gone because of you. And maybe you planned this meeting as a way to kidnap me as well. I just don't know you anymore. Your friend is only part of this sinister operation. Her family's plot already claimed many victims, including your sister. You must stop that from ever happening again. Alright, now I pr think I shouldn't have probably d chose that because of what she's saying now. Silence fell over us. Tension ran between us like electric. Then within a heartbeat, Anita spun around and darted for the door. Oh. Oh. She mustn't escape. Not after what she's done. Without a thought, I sprang after her, grabbing her shoulder. Anita whipped around and swiped a nail claw across my face. Red flashed in front of my vision. Oh god. Rage boiled up inside of me. I need to look back in terror. I lunged forward and tackled her to the ground. All the anger that's been bottled up inside for me. For all these days weeping for my missing sister, I focused them into my fist and directed it towards Anita. Oh, tears filled my eyes as I pinned Anita down and bashed her head against the floor. Whoa. Over and over I beat her head down. I didn't realise I was screaming all this time until it became the only sound. The tears have drained from me, and I could finally see clearly again. I looked down at my hands soaking in blood. Following the crimson trail, I settled my gaze on Anita. I killed her, didn't I? I actually killed... I killed her. Her face was covered in red. Her stare fixed on something far away outside of our existence. She remained still and breathless. I've killed her. What have I done? I didn't intend to kill her. God. Only what, I, only what you needed to. The mysterious woman appeared over my shoulder. There was no way. You saved us. You saved all the would-be victims of her family's schemes. She will not harm another soul again. Your sister would be proud. What do we do now? I just killed someone. My life is over. We must get rid of the body. How do we even do that? There's no way we could put it. There is a way inside the painting. That's true. What? Think about it. No one else knows how of its existence. We could dispose of Anita in there and all evidence will be erased. The painted world will be her tomb. Considering how she trapped others in there, this will be poetic justice. I nod. Not meeting her eyes. I knew it was the only option left. I picked up Anita's lifeless body and helped through her help and helped throw her through the painting. I feel like I can see eyes in the background. Then I witnessed a new phenomenon when the painting transformed once again. The painting canvas that had become empty overnight revealed a picture of Anita. All evidence of that night was erased. The only remnant of that instant was the new painting hanging on her wall. I don't know what happened to the woman. She seemed to disappear shortly after we put Anita through the painting. Maybe she ran away as far away as from here as possible. Eventually, the police were investigating when Anita was reported missing. They scrutinized me about the events of that night. I didn't know what to tell them. What I was no good at lying. Perhaps against my better sense of judgment, I told them the truth. I told them about the painting coming to life. I told them that Anita had disappeared inside the painting. I left out uh, the part where I killed her. Oh my god, I'm in an insane asylum, hello. 
My answers didn't satisfy the authorities, of course. The case remained unsolved and I was diagnosed with severe mental paranoia. Paranoid, okay. It didn't take long for them to commit me to an asylum. No matter how much I processed it, my sanity, no one believed me. There are times when I wondered myself if I dreamt up the whole thing, but those doubts n n but those doubts never linger. How could I forget those red stained hands and the terror and the terror in her eyes? Did I just get that was it, wasn't it? That was an ending. Right? Ending fifteen. Bloody hands. Oh boy. I got ending fifteen. Okay. Ben Ho? Nice. Alright. So I'm only gonna do one more thing for this part, because that was too short for a video. I will do one more route and I'll choose the opposite of trusting her. And then, that'll be it for me on Grotesque Beauty. So guys, one more ending. For respect of the maker of this game as well, I'll make sure this is the last video I do. So, trust her. I still I can't understand what you did. I don't know if I forgive you for it, but I trust you. Thank you, Rachel. I just want to... One day we'll settle this properly, but right now there's something more urgent we need to address. Our drama can wait. Oh, she's pissed. I'm disappointed in you, Rachel. I told you she can't be trusted. Why do you against go against my word? I don't know who this woman is, but she tried to turn us against each other. One thing is for certain, she's got evil intentions. We need to have each other's back. Agreed. Oh, her face! Such fools. Ignorant to the end. You have no idea what you're dealing with. Well then, let me shed some light on that matter. Oh! Whoa! In a blink of an eye, the woman's demeanor completely switched. No, she's the monster! Okay, got it! I nearly jump out of my skin from the shock. Jesus! Her sweet voice became coarse and venomous. The very sound of her words dissolved away any defiance. Her composed facade gave way to reveal her true self. A face of hate, anger, and malice. Oh my god. Piercing stabbed daggers into my very soul. An unworldly sense of danger struck me. I have never witnessed hatred like this. You think you have the power to defy me? You know nothing of what you're dealing with. You're just an insect, and insects cannot escape my grand designs. Whoa. Whoa! It wasn't... If it wasn't clear before, there was no mistake now that this was no ordinary human. Jesus Christ! Countless generations of evolution in the natural world could never design something that exuded such an aura. It could only be described as evil. You will suffer the agony the likes of which you could not comprehend. They will tear your flesh from your bones, rip out your tongue, snap your bones, Stab out your eyes and grate you to dust. You'll beg for mercy, but there will be no end to the torture. When I'm through with you, you will have died a thousand deaths. The figure of the woman grew taller. Her shadow stretched until it touched the ceiling. Her smooth folded, fo folded in on itself. S smooth skin folded in on itself, revealing rough scales, glistening eyes, and opened up in random spots over her body where they did not belong. A smile too wide for any human face displayed a set of sharp thangs. Right before our eyes, her elegant body melted away to a hideous monstrosity. A creature far removed from the gentle mask it wore before. Oh yeah, this thing is disgusting. As unreal as it was, I was living a waking nightmare. Oh my god! Oh! Oh! God. Oh my god. She's uh <laughs> Oh my darling, you're beautiful. How are you? How are you today? Um yeah, uh, you know what? I th I think um I I I disagree with her. Personally, I'll just go back to ending 15 if you don't mind. I quivered at the formidable sight. My whole world felt small in that instant. 
The creature let out a sharp hiss. Oh, what is that? What is that thing? Now, do you see? You had no hope in defying me. It stepped forward in a challenging motion. What do we do? What the hell do we do? Um. Um. So this is going to be the last save. Yeah, I'm just going to save quick. Ah. Run. Of course. Run for it. We turned and ran out the door. We were incredibly lucky to be in position close to the exit, otherwise I fear we would have stood no chance in escaping. As we sprinted out of the room, I felt the unnatural quickness of the creature rushing after us. Oh my god! It was close. Oh god. Oh, it needs to run was the nearest safety. I rushed in with any to follow him quickly. We both turned and slammed the door behind us just in the nick of time. Oh my god. Door frame shook as the creature threw itself at the door. And each and I both raced, uh, braced against it as we tried desperately to hold the door shut. I saw the handle rotate. Reacting sharply with senses heightened by adrenaline, I yanked the handle back upright, supporting it with both hands. Oh! Anita joined me whilst keeping her body weight pressed against the door. A spine tingling sound came from the other side of the door. A furious wail echoed in the corridor as the creature pounded menacingly against the door. What are we going to do? What are we going to do? Keep this door shut. We can't let it come in or we're toast. The monstrous noise echoed. Uh, no, continue, sorry. It pounded against the door like a battering ram, but still we held on with our bodies pushing back. Thank our lucky stars, this door open, opens inward. I don't think we could have held it if it opened the other way. Oh, yeah. The screaming outside died and suddenly all was quiet. It's going to come through the window. It's going to come through the window. Or it's tricking us. Oh god, Anita and I exchanged a look of confusion. What happened? Why did it go quiet all of a sudden? Do you think it's still out there? Anita pressed an ear against the door. A look of deep concentration spread across her face. I think I hear something. <laughs> oh hell no! Oh hell no! Did you hear that? Shh, listen, listen. <laughs> The sound was faint at first, but there was no mistaking it. It sounded like someone crying. A little girl. What's a little girl doing here? Maybe she came out the camp with the painting. Or maybe it's a trap. Help me. Help somebody! Oh god, I don't believe it. There's actually someone out there. This can't be real. Rachel, are you there? Please help me! <clears throat> that voice. There was familiarity in the voice. A little gasp as I made the connection. Hannah, is that you? What? It can't be. Help me. Uh, I didn't want to hear your voice, but thank you. Don't leave me behind again. Don't listen to it. Don't listen to it. That's not your sister. It just can't be. I'm scared. Please save me, Rachel. I don't want to be alone. <laughs> Holy fuck. Holy fuck. I'm saving again. Saving again. Don't answer the door. I don't believe it. I don't believe you. You're not Hannah. The sister would never try to lure me out to be killed by some monster. You need to try harder than that if that's all you got. Rachel, you have to believe me. Just open the door. I won't. Not for a creep like you. Sis, open the door. Just open the door, you fucking maggot. Open the door or I'll kill you slowly. I'll rip your eyes out. I'll tear the meat off your bones. I'll drown your friend in a pool of your blood. The longer you delay the inevitable, the more I will make your life torture. Open the door now. Mmm, I'm glad I didn't do that now. <laughs> the room descended into emptiness. Hearing the threat has left, Anita and I paralyzed with fear. All we could do was share a look at distraught and keep the door shut. Yeah, keep that door shut. The sound of shuffling feet paced back and forth in the hallway. Sometimes it disappeared into another room, only to return a moment later. Now and then it would try the door, but we'd spring up to resist it. Fuck. I have a feeling it's going to try and come through the window. That's why I think it'll come out, come out next. Some time passed since the sound of it moved away. The corridor was silent for a considerable time. I am, I am so fucking scared. Do you think it's gone? Where could it have disappeared to? Maybe it went back to the, into the painting to rest? I don't think so. 
I heard it in the other room. Then what should we do? We can't stay here forever. Eventually, I'll get inside. We need to find a way out. I mean, an opening. I mean, open the door and sneaking out. Oh God! Hey, it's going to be all right. Listen to me. I'm just so so scared. I can't cope. I don't think I can take much more of this. We won't have to. We're safe for now. Anita, I need you to be strong. I promise you, we'll get out of here alive. The two of us. We'll make it through. I'll protect you, okay? This will be all over soon. But for now, you must be brave. We have each other's back, then no one can break us. Okay. Thank you, Rachel. I'm glad you're here with me. You've always been so strong. You've always been a good friend. I'll try to be as strong as you. That's good. Have you heard anything from outside? No, I haven't heard anything for a while. I think the last time I heard it was in my parents' room. That's the last time I heard anything too. Maybe it's safe right now. Oh! Ah! Ah! I don't want to. I don't want to leave. But I feel like now that we've been in here too long, it'll be too late. I feel like if I stay in the room, it's going to come through the window. But I feel like if I leave the room, it will hear us and immediately bolt to us. Or maybe it's hiding up on the ceiling. Even though we said the last time we heard it, it went into the room. I'm going to choose don't leave. I'm going to choose don't leave. I know I'm a pussy. I get it. I'm not sure here. Maybe we should wait a little more just to be safe. Sit tight and keep listening. We continue to hang by the door. It was hard to tell just how long we spent waiting there. What could have been a mere few minutes felt like an eternity. Fatigue started to catch up to us. Standing there, bracing the door, was exhausting. I felt my back ache all over. All the while the world outside our door remained quiet, the creature showed no sign of itself. It needed to look at me. The question was in her eyes. <sighs> Don't leave! I still don't think it's safe to go out yet. <coughs> okay, I don't like much. I don't much like the idea of risking a run for it right now. Something about this just seems too planned. Like some psychological experiments. Yeah. Yeah, that was me. Sorry. What do you mean? We can't stay in this room. I must know that. It must know that. Sooner or later, we will need to open the door. As long as it keeps quiet for all that time, it can trick us to believe it's gone away. It's playing some kind of game with us. Are you saying that thing has been sitting outside the door this, this whole t all this time? It's a possibility. Where else could it be? Then how do we get out of here? I don't know, but for now we just need to stay alive and keep this door shut at all costs. Just then, as if in response to my theory, a sound cut through the silence. That came from over there! My eyes darted to the other side of the room. Horror struck me when I realised it was coming from- It was the window! Oh, I was right! The window! I think it's the same camera from out there. Slowly edge away from the door, leaving Anita behind. What are you doing? Oh, we're going to check it. No, no. <laughs> I don't want to. I heard the worry in her voice. Whether that thing came through the door right then. It took the two of us to hold it back last time. Anita alone would not be able to fight it. But I was concerned about something else. Slowly, I walked toward the window with its curtains drawn. The sound coming from outside the window became more audible. I reached out a hand and held onto the curtain fabric. I pulled the curtains open. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Oh! Fuck! Hi! I don't like you! The monster is right outside the window. The glass pane shatters, bringing a cool gust of wind into the room. Dark snake-like silhouettes invaded from the outside. They slivered toward me. Run! I ran toward Anita. She was already out the door, holding it open for me. I felt a massive weight roll into the room and give chase. I need to drag the door behind me. Alright. Anita leans back, she's pulled the door shut. I join her, planting a foot on the wall for leverage. I knew she was going to come behind the window, but I thought there would have been another chance for me to do that. I was thinking, okay, she's going to do that again, I'm going to go. Like, I was thinking that was there was another time I could choose to go out and or don't go out. By her efforts, the door slowly being pulled open. It was clear we could not hold out. I don't think we could hold on for much longer. I know. So this is it then? So this is it then? 
Doesn't have to be. Don't have to let this thing take the both of us. You don't mean... I do. One of us can hold it off. I should buy the other enough time to get out of here. Better one of us dead than the two of us. Are you just going to stay behind? I'm going to stay. I'll do it. But Rachel, come on. Don't give me that. I said I have your back, didn't I? You need to get out of here whilst you can. Rachel, I don't know what to say. Thank you, it'd be nice. Make it snappy. I don't know how much longer I can hold this. Thank you, Rachel, for everything. I'll see you again one day. I'll see you again one day. Go on, get out of here. Now, get out. It's just me and you. Grotesque beauty. I need to let go of the door and ran toward the stairs. I listened as her footsteps ran the front door and soon disappeared down the streets. She made it out. At least one of us gets to live. In that instant, the fight left my body. A hard pull managed to rip the door open, wide open. I fell forward, but something caught me before I hit the ground. My nose hovered inches from the carpet. I rose to the ceiling, littered by demonic tentacles. I came face to face with the creature. Hi. Hi. How are you? Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> Did you think you've won? You tiny thing. It doesn't matter. Why? It doesn't matter to me if one escapes. All I needed was one. And here you kindly offer yourself up. What are you going to do? It did not answer. Silently it carried me down the stairs. The painting. I watched as we entered the living room. Looking over a shoulder, I could see the painting drawn here. The curtains, the creature stopped in front of it and before I knew it, I was tumbling backward. I felt the world spin. I fell down a bottomless well with nothing but darkness around me. <clears throat> Damn. Yeah, ending 20. Hold the door. Damn. There we go, guys. That is actually going to be the ending I'm going to leave it off on. Yep. I did say I'd at the very most do two, and I want to stick as true as possible to the will of the maker, since he asked us not to do all of the endings. So I'm going to be respectful and cut it off at two endings. And if you guys want to play this game yourself, you are more than welcome to. It's, I think, for stay, still on for sale on Steam. Let me just check quickly. Um, because this was an experience. I'm not going to lie. Yeah, it's still available on Steam and the sale for it is still on. And this game was a fun experience. But <clears throat> for the other endings... I'm going to be doing them in my own time. So, I want to thank you guys so much for coming with me on this journey. So, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed. Leave a like if you did. Subscribe if you want any more from me. And I shall see you in the next video. So ya, guys. The grotesque beauty will also see you next time. Damn. Damn, mate. Ah. That was an experience. I like this game.